So for my international friends, uh, we also have really weird and stupid politicians. And this guy actually has a seat in parliament. Like he votes on stuff. He's in the lower house. Okay. Okay, I just need you to remember that. Okay, hit me. All right, so let's start off. There's an election on in Flinders, and I know who I will back. It's a hard-working man called Cata. Helps he anyone on the track. You want to hire a church hall? You're the local um, association of LBGTs, whatever the hell the words are. Um, what, whatever it is. But you, you want to do that? No, I have no idea what it is. I seriously have no idea what it is, and I'm not going to spend any time finding out either, because you'll have probably changed it. Rude. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So before we go in any further, I want to show you what his politics, what he's consistently voted against: ending immigration detentions on Manus Island, ending immigration detentions in Nauru, increased availability on abortion drugs, increased legal protections for LGBTQIP. Because he doesn't know what they are. Yeah. A fast transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy, same sex marriage equality, and the carbon pollution reduction scheme. Reproductive bodily autonomy, stem cell research, and transgender rights. He's consistent. Wow. Good guy. Good guy. <laughs> Good face. This, this one is one of my <clears throat> favorite clips of all time. This is the one that like got me on this whole saga, okay? Okay. You know, people are entitled to their sexual proclivities. You know, I mean, let there be a thousand blossoms bloom, as far as I'm concerned. You know, but I ain't spending any time on it because in the meantime, every three months, a person is torn to pieces by a crocodile in North Queensland. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> we've got to watch that again. Let there be a thousand blossoms bloom, as far as I'm concerned. You know, but I ain't spending any time on it because in the meantime, Every three months, a person is torn to pieces by a crocodile in North Queensland. Are they? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, a lot of these countries have, um, have faced existential threat, which at this stage, thankfully, we don't have in Australia. Look, we're gonna have oh, to I, I think you do, Tom. Well, I think we, don't, we don't have... Um, I think we do. I don't think, we're not facing the same disagree. situation He's got Tom's as name written on his finger. No, I, I think, I think you we're are. in the same situation. I think you right? are. Yes, I think you are. Which yes. is, which is yes. currently yes. being yes. invaded by Russia. Yes, 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 yes. And if we had no five it. minutes, I would put teeth on that. Are we racist? <laughs> oh, no. He says a lot of stuff about race. He loves it. He loves a bit of race. And um, But the thing is, his grandfather was from Lebanon. So his grandfather came over from oh, Lebanon. Oh, good. And so someone pointed that out in this interview, and he got so angry. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of good people coming out from those countries. But you know, we can't afford to take the risks anymore. Even your grandfather's Lebanese. How do you feel about him? No, he's not. He's an Australian. And I resent strongly you describing him as Lebanese. That is a racist comment, and you should take it back, and you should be ashamed of yourself for saying what? it in public. Can no... clarify, is your party racist? I just told you. We are Australians, That's and we are absolutely... Yes, it is. Yes, it is an answer to your question. And if it's not, then I feel sorry for you. If it's not, oh. then I feel sorry for you. This guy gets so wound up. He's unhinged. So he's a strong advocate for live export. So what I thought we'll do is we'll put this on just in the background and then we'll listen to him talk about the morality of it. You, you callous, vicious people. You callous, vicious people. There are three million Indonesians that will go hungry as a result of your decision. Because looking at it, I don't think they can get the cattle from Brazil. And if they can't get the cattle from Brazil, there is no replacement for what is protein. I mean, they can get some calorific food, but they can't get protein. And you just cold-bloodedly well, do not. this. Now listen, listen, my friend. No, no, no. Get you just cold-bloodedly want to shut down this industry. <laughs> you cold-blooded, sick people <laughs> want to shut this down, this. <laughs> You want to shut this down? Are you crazy? You cold-blooded person. Get you, you give me the. Are you just going to shout all the way I was, through? I, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They're going to pin your ears back. I was brought up in, in an outfit called Christianity, where you do good to your neighbours. Now, if you don't like Christianity, there's another mob that say if someone does bad to you, you do bad back to them. Now we are fighting a war, and we have fought continuous wars. Yeah, no, you, you wouldn't want to stop this. 
Either Christians are right. This is cruel to stop this. <laughs> oh, this guy. I can't keep watching this. Uh, if anyone's interested in veganism, check out Dominion. I was looking up his grandfather to see, <laughs> to see if he was a Lebanon, was a Lebanese migrant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've had to lock my door on numerous occasions with female staff trying to get at me and take advantage of me. And, you know, over the years, like. Would you, would you, no. could you resist? No, yes. Oh, you could resist? <laughs> okay. You wouldn't want to take I mean, a, it'd be hard. <laughs> you wouldn't want to take but, advantage of him? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he I've been a man of me. very strong moral fibre or I could have been led astray. What, what, so hang on. I'm, Bob, I'm, I need I'm, this I'm a single man here. I need some tips. What are your tips? <laughs> Mate, just lock the door. And it's not because I think I've got at least one Semitic from the family tree somewhere. But nothing to do with that. <laughs> I just love how he switches gears so much. He's like, oh. <laughs> It's, it's so weird, right? Yeah. It's he's, like he's got like he split bipolar or something. Yeah, split personalities. He's like, <laughs> so, you know, but I ain't spending any time on it because in the meantime, the person that prevents us from shooting those crocodiles shall be dragged into a courtroom and held to account for the deaths of North Queensland. Oh, he gets. So, like... He doesn't, say, he doesn't care at all about animals, it seems. I think this is an ad for his campaign. Yeah! Yeah, Australia's not for sale! Yeah! Oh, look, he's got a gun. <laughs> and look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> right, put it out so everyone can see it. Why have you got all that handwriting all if over If I write yourself? it down, I remember it. And you all know that. So please give us a break. Give Clive and myself and the other small parties, give us a break. Clive Palmer needs a break. No, he doesn't. He doesn't need a Kit Kat though. <laughs> that, was a, that was mean. I'm overweight. What we're doing here when we build this rail line is we're switching the lights on for the poor. <laughs> He's a meme. He is a meme. <laughs> what does it say? Our coal, our rail, our... I think that's what jobs, jobs wrong, or is the J? No, the, the J is just like <laughs> gone right. No, no, Indians. So it's going to be our coal, our rail line, and our jobs. Bash them, mate. Bash them. And he said, you have a knife. It's my briefcase. And I said, that is not a knife, my friend. That is my letter opener. Right. This is my letter opener. That I is not a letter knife. opener. How did you get through <laughs> you know, that through Parliament? There's no Let's difference. How did you get that through Parliament security? Um, <clears throat> I have influence. Every kid in this country, every boy in this country in secondary school should have access to a rifle and know how to use it. And the reason for that is the Ukraine. We need more school shootings. Australia has no school shootings. None. Like absolutely none. Why like, would we want and that? every year the US is winning. Every year. <laughs> school shooting after school shooting after school shooting. Little five year olds being murdered in their classrooms. And we get none. None. It's a bit selfish. I know it's ridiculous. <laughs> like Australia is so far behind on the school shootings. We really need to ramp it up. Guys, Australians, we need to vote in guns. Because otherwise, like children will be able to go to school and not get shot at. <laughs> I mean, what's the Tefla industry going to do? Wasn't he saying every child a couple of videos before and now he's just saying every boy? <laughs> he said. Oh. So, folks around the world, that was me introducing the amazing Bob Catter to my wife. Is he amazing? Yeah, what do you think? No. Would I you don't vote like for him? him? Has he got your vote? Absolutely not. He doesn't have your vote? No, never. Oh. That's no. a bummer. Wow. So, um, if people want to move to Australia, just know that there are some people in our political system um, that are just like Trump. 